That year, 1976, I made two movies in France that year. Nice. And um, so I came back to London and it was very, they'd already started shooting and suddenly I hear that they want me to do the movie because I've met George beforehand, mm. uh, weeks and weeks beforehand. So um, the first days were, um, we, there were loads of pilots, you know, uh, young, I knew, I knew a lot of the actors, mm. anyway, young actors, we were all, getting going in our careers and um, my memories of was uh, waiting outside the sound stage outside the studio to shoot the battle sequences yeah. you know so the the cockpit was on a, a raft uh, you climb a ladder and the yeah. cockpit was there and cut away at the front and the camera was here and George was sat beside behind the camera and um, it was quite um, George's uh, some kind of genius, I think, I have to say. But it was a battle sequence, the first, it was like maybe 13, 14 pages of script. And so George sat beside him behind the camera and he thought you could just remember every line no. from <laughs> these pages. I said, George, no. So he sat beside, beside the camera and I said, just tell me the lines, George. So he read me a line and I, I said it and then he said, okay, say it faster. I said, now say it, look up there. Try down there, look at that. Do it like this. So that's how it did. The, those early days uh, were like that, yeah. No, because you just sat in, like I'm sitting in a chair now, and there was a kind of background, obviously, uh, and the blue screen behind. So you didn't know what was going on back here no. either. So and we, it wasn't until we saw the movie that we saw an X Wing. No. Yeah. Incredible. What an achievement. I know. I mm. just, uh, I, don't, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> I did. Uh, we were, because uh, I'm Scottish and Ian is Scottish, and I met him. I was trying to get into drama school to train as an actor, and I had a friend um, in a town called Dundee in Scotland, and he was starting to train as a journalist. And I went to see him and I found a little amateur dramatic company in this town in Dundee. And uh, Ian McDermott was the kind of leading actor of this dramatic mm. company. And so I spent seven, eight months there. I got a job during the day and I was doing productions with them. And then Ian and I both auditioned for drama school in Glasgow on the same day. And um, so we both did our audition and we came outside and I shook his hand in the street and watched him walk away. And I thought, I'll never see that guy again. <laughs> but we both got in and we trained together for three years, shared apartments and we've been friends ever since. It's quite extraordinary. I don't know if I saw him on the set, but um, I know that, for instance, um, during the movies, Mark Hamill and I became very good friends, right. and um, he would spend time at my house in London. This was probably the second movie, I think, uh, kind of moment. But I know that Mark had never seen Ian without the makeup right. on. And it was, wasn't until Ian came to my house as well that <laughs> Mark was able to go, oh my God, you look like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely extraordinary, and um, people here have been so generous and uh, and, and and pleased. It's 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 a lovely feeling. Mm. It's a really nice feeling. Mm. Yeah. Um, I well, he was he was pretty young, and at the time, I said to him, he likes to tell the story that I told him not to do the mm. movies. This is not true. Uh, I uh, I said to him, well, okay. That's great, just be careful of this because within the business of uh, an acting, you can be typecast. In other words, you become associated so strongly with one role 
that is all people will think of you as to, uh, in terms of your work. But of course, he's so versatile and already done movies before Star Wars, so um, I'm glad to hear ignored my advice and went on to do it. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was very unusual uh, circumstances. I got uh, an email from J.J. Abrahams. Now, that's not how people work usually. And uh, I was so, I thought, hmm, is, uh, is this for real? Mm. So I got in touch with my agent. I said, is this J actually J.J. Mm. Abrahams? He said, yes, yes it is. So anyway, I'm there in touch with J.J. Abrahams. So um, um, he, he wanted me to do five days on the movie. And I said, okay, that's fantastic. Here's my schedule. I was, yeah. at that time I was acting in a play, and then I was immediately directing a play, because I directed in the theatre. Yeah. And um, there was, then I gave him my dates. He said, oh, I don't think we can do this. Yeah. And I went back to him and said, come on, we can, we've got to do this, come on, we've got. So, um, but during my schedule and their schedule, we could only find one day yeah. where I could shoot. Um, so, but it was lovely to go back on the set. I was just lovely, brilliant. Mm. It's brilliant. Yeah, I seem to remember uh, there was a kind of odd, funny scene where I ran up to uh, Chewbacca and we embraced, you know. Uh, uh. <laughs> and uh, yes, there was a few other bits and bobs, yeah, that were not in the final cut. Sure, mm. yeah. It's very surprising. The whole thing surprises me still. Yeah, yeah. it's fantastic too. I think it's better looking than I am. That's, no. <laughs> that's great. This fantastic. is a young wedge. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. It'd be, frankly, there's been so many. Everyone's been so très yeah. and uh, quite touching. Uh, quite um, um, touching a lot of people. Um, I'm so I, I can't single one thing out, I don't think. It's been quite a day, quite a fantastic day. I've loved it. So, perfect. Okay. So thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.